Hey, what's up guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toaster Bros. And we got basketballs, because today we're doing a competition, Best Buy versus Walmart, $800. Let's see who gets to pick first. We're gonna be building gaming PCs at an $800 budget. Jax and I get to shop for all the parts. They come in, we build it, and we'll rate them based on how they look, how they perform, and uh, yeah, hopefully we don't get scammed. Hopefully we get some actually good parts, because prices are coming down. So what we're gonna do is go outside, duel in a basketball shoot-off, and then the winner gets to pick which retailer they want. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. But first, a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Team Group and their Delta RGB DDR5 memory featuring blazing fast speeds up to 6400 megahertz, support for Intel XMP 3.0, built-in PMIC with a stronger cooling design, making it perfect for your next 12-gen Intel gaming PC. Team Group is also hosting a PC setup design contest where you can submit your own setup or create a 3D modeled setup for a chance to win a high-end gaming PC. Check the link down below to enter and also learn more about Delta DDR5 memory. And special thanks again to Team Group for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into the video, shall we? We're doing 10 total shots. Whoever makes the most out of the 10, winner. What if we both make zero? Well, you know what? We got a problem on All our right, hands. so we're gonna do some rotating shots. We got Zach catching the rebounds and hopefully keeping count. First right, shot. Let's do it. Oh. Okay, right, good start, one. good start. Oh. Oh God. <laughs> Ooh. Oh no. I was hoping you'd never make one. Yeah, Don't even step up. Don't even step up, all right. Oh god! <laughs> I blame the wind, I swear. Oh, oh dude, I am not looking good. How many have you made, two? Two. How are you feeling? Not great, I mean, I never feel good, but so far it's one to two, so I'm not too far off. I never feel so, good. So like, I'll be honest with you, I'm probably gonna find a way to choke this. It just happens. <laughs> Bean Battles, I was up and I lost. And he, he was way up. I was I, way up in Bean Battles, and I think I made that one shot in the uh, other did, one. and then we and had then, the tiebreaker. And the tiebreaker, so it always falls apart. This is the time I break the curse, okay? Oh, see, there we go. Oh no. I'm making Zach run today. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Dude, I'm whipping out my ugly jumper. Oh, oh no. We tied, baby. Yep. Oh, all right. Two more shots. Oh. Oh. No. oh God. Zach, get back. Get back. Oh. oh, thank God. Is this the last one? It's the last mine? shot. Oh, that's off. Oh, no. I got a chance. Matt, please don't do this to me. Get the tiebreaker. I guess if I make it, the Matt still has a, sh a chance to match. Yes, we'll do it that way. Oh my God. Ah. <laughs> oh! Okay, all right. I hate my life. Ah! Oh, this is like a miscompletion at this point. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> Are you Dude, when I get me? the pressure on, I have to make it. Uh oh. This is where the curse happens. Uh -huh. <laughs> I feel bad because I feel like Matt's been better at everything so far, but I it's always, always the, that way. It's always the tiebreaker. That's how it happens. All right, which one do you want? I mean, I don't think any of them are awful. But be Best Buy is better, right? I would think so. I mean, I feel like I, I had to take the better one. I mean, I, I, I did win. <laughs> so I'll, I'll take Best Buy. All right, Walmart it is. Let's go buy some PC parts. I'm just gonna add the parts and then go through and like take some away because right now I'm, I'm not looking great. <laughs> unavailable, unavailable, um, unavailable. Okay, this is not going great. B460M, okay, it brought me up pressure washers. Great. I sort by high to low and it gives me Yu-Gi-Oh trading cards and they spelled collection with a K. I just, I don't, I don't know anymore. <laughs> Dude, these sites kind of like, kind of suck a little bit. I thought this was gonna be the better site, but at this point I'm starting to wonder. This is like a lot worse than I thought it would be. Best Buy's popping every five seconds. Like, do you wanna take a survey? And I'm like, a survey of what? How just horrible this experience is? 787.24 with tax and shipping. Well done, under budget. So I, that's, that's bonus points. That's, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah bonus, bonus points. Good job, well done. All right. Oh wait, I have offers and rewards? I'm using my $5, wait, can I use both? 
Dude, hold up, I'm at 776. I feel like I'm gonna get better storage. I have to, McAllister, I have to. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I don't know what's happening, but like I'll see a price and then suddenly I'll refresh and the price will be different. So I'm like, is it deleting stuff from here? Bada boom, 797.83. I'm saving $133 in this order. My man Jackson took like a whole day to shop on Best Buy. We're sorry, this item is in demand and can't add it to your cart right now. Oh, that I could add the i3 to my cart. Dude, dude did I secretly get the better retailer? Is this what happened? I can do a whole build that I want to do. Leapfrog tablet, <laughs> but can it play CSGO? I have a feeling I'm gonna be over budget. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna be over budget. We gotta redo the whole budget, but like, it, we're making that work. It's already throwing bot checks at me. Oh, so I got this 550. Okay, yes. <laughs> My robot or human? Look, there's a bunch of them. Is there any bet? Are you? <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> Me. Walmart, it keeps asking me if I'm human. I'm starting to question that myself. Walmart will not let me buy anything. They think I'm a robot. Fix this. Right, can I re, let me make sure, let me refresh because probably gonna ask me the same question again. <laughs> so that's, is that, okay, is, there, is, is, that, is that a slope? It's a motorcycle, that's a motorcycle. There's no more. Is it gonna reset me again? Oh my God. If it does it again, I we will do another option. Look at that, 797 place order, and I think we're good. What I have right here is my Walmart stuff. You ready to see what I got? No. No, you're not ready? I'm okay. scared. We got like a tower system here. First, what feels like the CPU, we got the latest and greatest Intel 12th gen. Look at that, oh uh, i3-12100. I thought I had an advantage because Wish has a lot of dropship stuff. Walmart has a lot of dropship stuff. They never touch it. So like, is it technically Walmart? I don't know, but you know, it is what it is. Did Matt cheat, question mark? Um, it's somewhat of a cheat, I guess. Um, power supply, 500 BQ from EVGA. It's reasonable, it's respectable, it's good to go. That's the barbecue. That, that is the barbecue. I think that's E tier. I don't know, man. <laughs> you know what? For this, it, it's whatever. It's e tier. It's A tier in my eyes. This was the hard part. We went with the normal 1650, okay? okay. So uh, okay. Got, it, it's modest, you know? Prices are dropping. By the time people see this video, it'll be like a 1650 for an $800 bill. You know what? There, there's some weird stuff going on here that I had to work with. There's gonna so. be another big crisis right when this video comes out and they're gonna be like, wow, <laughs> this guy's a cheapskate. Yeah, he's a cheapskate. Motherboard, had to B660M, be B660M. Yep. DS3H, the legend, you know? see that coming. It's the classic. Get what that luxuries you've had. What luxuries. <laughs> so we had 16 gigs, 3200 megahertz, XPG. I kind of look at this stuff because I already forget what I ordered. It's so a non-RGB, okay, okay. And then ADATA Swordfish, 500 gigabyte SSD. Okay. That's all that, the core <laughs> components. This, ladies and gentlemen, they take this so well, the only thing I can do is just open up the case. I can kind of see, it looks very off-brand Amicum. So it's like weeaboo. I mean, I'm not gonna say no. You're gonna win, oh no. <laughs> all right, here Dude, we go. I have no chance. All right, um, here, oh my God. Oh, it's kind of like an H510. <laughs> okay, so here's my uh, my pink we have beauty. We can sell this. You, we can sell this to somebody. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> there, there's an individual who will want something I just, like this. I, no, I mean, it's it's a basic case, tempered glass. How much was this case? Like $80. I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, like it's, it's kind of, I, I'm not in But the there's anime. one big downside I am looking at right now. There are zero fans in this. <laughs> <laughs> there are no fans. So do we think add no fans, like for fairness? I guess, yeah. We'll just okay. see what the temperatures are like and if that hurts my performance. Um, but when we sell this PC over at our PC selling because PC Bros. I tech, there will be fans. There will be no fans. So yeah, we'll <laughs> do that. So now it's time to see what Jackson did. All right, so Best Buy. You guys probably saw uh, my struggle. Kind of similar to what Matt had, but I don't think he had the struggle as hard. Um, I don't even know which box is which, so we're gonna get to this in a minute. Oh, it's in here, okay. I was gonna say, you didn't get a processor. So for the processor, Ooh. I could not go 12th gen. I don't oh. even know if they had it. Like literally, oh. it, I had an i5 10400, which I would have had an advantage, but actually no, they would have been about the same. We've actually found that the 10th gen i5 is worse than the 12th gen i3, so I'm kind of concerned. Now this is my wild card that oh. could be really bad or really I good. I thought it would never make it to the channel. We have not done a review of one of these yet or even ever had one. This is a RX 6500 XT. In theory, this should be like a 1650 Super, I believe, mm -hmm. especially since we have it going in a gen four slot. But I hate to break your bubble, you have a gen three CPU, 10th gen. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. I, I, we'll see I'm, the I'm hoping this is like a gen four slot. <laughs> 
We'll it, find out. I don't know. It's so new. I just I can't see it losing performance. But who knows? Z490. No, okay, yeah, this is the. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, Best Buy. <laughs> You're kind of ass. Like this upset me. The cheapest Intel board they had online was a Z490, and then the other cheapest AMD board, X570. It's like they just don't have any cheap boards. So yeah, similar RAM to what Mac got. I would argue the mine's a little bit more name brand. Mm, yeah, 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 Corsair yeah. Vengeance LPX 3200 megahertz. <laughs> Um, I also got a Corsair case to go with that RAM. That's the uh, Carbide Spec Delta RGB. So I think it should have RGB fans in it. I'm gonna be really upset if it doesn't have fans at all. For power supply, I think I had to go a little bit overkill on this as well. This is the 80 plus bronze Smart BX1. I have no clue this can But where like, is it on the tier list? I don't know. I think it's actually fairly rated. I wanna yeah. say it's like C or B tier. It's probably fine. Um, uh, this is a 512 gig XPG. Um, and it's NVMe and everything. So pretty equivalent to what Mac got. Cause we gotta build them and just see which one's faster. That's gonna be really the big thing. I mean, looks wise, I feel like in theory, Mac, if, you, if you're if you into anime and like the pink, I, I, I can even admit, I don't like anime, but I think it looks super cool. I'm a little bit worried, but I'm hoping this has enough RGB in it where I can kind of make up for looks. And then I'm hoping this outperforms the 1650. So yeah, let's build them. All right, guys, we have my very loud beauty over here, and um, she's loud. For some reason, that 1650, it, only one fan is running, and it's running at max speed. <laughs> Everything else not working so great. So I'm gonna run Cinnamon real quick. I think I have an advantage here with that i3-12100, but we will see after this run finishes. And we are using Cinnamon R15. I don't know why I picked the older version, but this is what I did. I, I made a noopsie, so. We'll see what happens. So the score we ended up with was a score of 1,212. So there's a sentiment score. It shows it's just better than a 3930K. Which, that, Six that score, has to be three. like a faked benchmark. That seems like a very high number. We'll see what his is up with yeah. after this, but remember that score, 1,212. I'm actually gonna write these down so I don't have to go back and look at the footage. Cyberpunk's up next, and it defaulted to medium settings using the quick preset. So we're gonna run medium for all the tests. And uh, yeah, I don't expect this to work very well, but you know what? We're gonna run the benchmark because Cyberpunk is very demanding and uh, this is gonna be worst case scenario for both of our GPUs. But all oh, the 30s and the 40s. Just goes to show you don't have to have a 3080 to run even your AAA title. Yep, you can run them. It's gonna get higher too once it gets out of this area. This is like the most demanding part. 47, it's 46. It's going down, it's tanky. It's going down, it's Dude, we need the sky test. 52, oh. 50, 40, oh, oh, it's tanking. An average of 44.65 FPS. I'm gonna put that down exactly as is because who knows, it could be very close. Is this the cool B-roll? Okay. 
Shout out to Tomb Raider. We're gonna run medium preset once again, built-in benchmark, see what kind of numbers we end up getting. Hopefully this uh, gives me some good results. Ah! It is holding, I'll, I'll give it it. It's definitely like, it, it's, it, the minimum seem like they're very good on the 1650. Yeah. Just set your fan to 100%, you're good to go. That's true. You gotta, be, you gotta do that and just let the entire nature system work. We're looking at an average of 65 FPS. Absolutely beautiful. All right, it's time. Jackson, your computer, right here, right now. It is now my turn. I got my side panel on. We're running 1080p. Uh, Cinemage R15, the not newest version. We're gonna go ahead and, uh, we did this one, right? Yep, CPU. Oh, wow. What? <laughs> All right, so we're looking at a score of 865. A lot worse. It makes me wonder <laughs> about my gaming performance. 865, next. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Cyberpunk, and we are on the same preset. I actually selected the exact same one showing how similar these are. So we're on medium preset, and let's go ahead and run the benchmark. What's your confidence level? What's going on right now? I mean, I'm genuinely surprised. I, I almost wonder if Cinebench is correct, because it. I know the 200 should be like 10 to 15% worse than the 12100, but it made it look like it was way worse. And I have no clue about the graphics card. Oh boy. Wow. Oh wow. Boy. <laughs> Have I lost my first challenge? Wow. Why is the 6500 XT a thing? As Matt pointed out to me earlier, you know, I have a 10 Gen i3. They didn't have Gen 4 until 11 Gen i5s and i7s. So I think my PCIe lane is running in Gen 3. And on top of that, this card is X4. So that's just like a double horrible it's negative. A, it's, it's a double whammy of, yeah. of cyberpunk man, issues. 11 gigs of RAM we're using. 26. Ooh. All right, we'll add that 26. On to the next one. Medium settings, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Medium, right? Yep, Sounds medium, right. medium. All right, I, I just have like no faith in this <laughs> computer anymore. So something's going on here. <laughs> There's some... why, are, why is every test, this is why we don't do scientific tests. They always end up like this, where it makes no sense. Only thing I can think of is there's certain games, I think, cause I remember Cyberpunk was a good example of one that Gen 4, it really uses a lot of VRAM and stuff and a lot of textures. This is kind of an older game. I don't know, we'll see what the average is at the end, but it's still, it's still kind of wonky. 79, wow, Dang. that so is insane. So that's uh, 14 FPS. 14 FPS, that's- Yeah, so, so. performance-wise, I mean, it, it's very interesting because you could probably run like a bunch of different tests and it would be back and forth. Like, I have a feeling- Depending on which game and everything. Yeah, so it, I don't really know what to say performance-wise. Like, mm -hmm. CPU's better, but GPU back and forth, I guess? Our capture card seems to have broken, but uh, we're running the Cyberpunk test again because we actually like had a bunch of updates that we decided to install. And since this is a newer Gen 4 card, you know, I'm just like, well, let's just, Give it a try, and it, it seems like it's helped a little bit, actually. It's locked. Oh, you like wearing a V-Sync? It could have been higher than 60 there. Yeah, no, this definitely looks higher. Oh, no, 61, so I shouldn't. I mean, I know V-Sync, yeah. you could still be getting. You were at 26, you know, the 43. Oh, wow, still okay. less than mine at 44, almost... but. Oh, were you at 20, 44? I was 44. Oh, dude, I feel good now. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's like really close, but like, that's, that's so strange. I guess updates for, what, Windows I, I updates for whatever card, reason, maybe. yeah. yeah. Um, no, it's interesting and obviously there's still, um, Matt and I could both get more FPS by doing some slight tweaking with like MSI Afterburner. We can do some overclocking on the cards. They can both handle it. Uh, there, there's definitely some things we could do. I don't, did either of us have XMP enabled? Uh, no, I just let it stock yeah, for I both mean, of us. So I think we're both on stock. We have 3200 megahertz RAM and we both have good boards that could easily go uh, up to the 3200 megahertz that we both got. So that would naturally be more performance right there. I so. think it's close to being a toss up then performance wise. Like it, it seems kind of- like I mean, CPU power, we just know yes. yours is better, but GPU wise, mine's supposed to be better, yeah. but in certain applications, it seems like it's not, it's about the same. So yeah, there you go. That was Walmart versus Best Buy, a very confusing conclusion. Let's just wrap this video up real quick. All right guys, so we just finished benchmarking our PCs and uh, honestly, we saw some pretty similar results and that's, uh, really how a lot of these tests have gone besides I think the very first one we did like Wish versus AliExpress where I was obviously able to just to run away with better components. Walmart seems to have a lot of drop shipping options so Matt was able to get some really good stuff and uh, honestly his is way more optimized than mine is because mine just doesn't make sense with that super high end board. And obviously if you go for something serious like a real case and not something like this and I just try to have fun with it, you could probably make something that looks more like Jackson's using Walmart. So yeah, try to use some links down below 
below. Um, only one of them is affiliate links through Best Buy, but if you want to buy a PC from Best Buy, use the links down below. And uh, yeah, this is a fun experience. Let us know which other showdown you want to see next. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. So although both of these systems aren't perfectly optimized right now, they will be for sale at PCBros.tech after we do some fixing and add some fans. You could buy these PCs or many other ones over at PC Bros. And if you use code TOSYBROS2 on checkout, you can save 2% on your order. PCBros.tech, see you guys later. Goodbye.